I'm going to create a mission in the UAV toolbox. So I'm starting by giving it a name. The name doesn't really matter. I'm going to use my last telemetry location because I flew out of here last time. First, you need to choose a takeoff point. I've got my sun shield on, so it's a little bit hard to hit some of these icons. But you'll notice I'm going to pick the. I'm going to pick it first and choose a takeoff point. So there's my takeoff point. Now I'm going to try to add a point to it. If I can hit it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've added a point fly to just to take off. And now I'm going to set my altitude at 170 feet. Just because I don't really care about the resolution right now, it's just a demonstration. And practice for me. So I'm picking my first point right now. If you notice, the gray boxes are roughly where the cameras see. So I'm going to be adding some overlap. Now, every time I have to go through, every time I pick a point, I have to go through and drop the camera down to 90 degrees. So the gimbal pitch has to be changed each time. I'm not that worried about the overlap, but I've got plenty. Uh, I have plenty because it'll be taking pictures once per second. So. So now I'll have it fly back and I'll just fly it down to the ground. So. Now I'm going to upload it from the pad side to the operational side. So I'm giving it a name. And I'm going to upload it. Okay, so now it's available to the Typhoon. Now, the next thing you got to do is you got to remember to switch it over to camera. So the movie mode. And if you notice down on the bottom right, I have time lapse already set up. That'll take a picture every one second once I activate it. So now I'm going to start up the cable cam. And as you can see, that's the only one left in the list. And now we're ready to start. So now we're up in the air. There goes the camera. And it's just going to show you some pictures as they're being taken. Just representative sample. And to be honest, every time uh, the cable cam turns that thing around, I get my heart back. Now I've magically uploaded everything to the computer and I'm going to put it in to Maps Made Easy. I'm using Maps Made Easy because of the cost. It's for the number of uh, pictures I'm using and the level of detail I'm looking for, it's basically free for me. Um, it's a point system and I'm not using enough points to cost anything yet. This page simply starts the map and now we just give it a name. This just tells it how know what I'm uploading. Now I choose the files. Now it's asking for a reference file. And it asked me to verify that it knows the location. I'm skipping the points on purpose, but this tells you that I'm ready to upload it. And now it's uploading. And we have a very nice together map. And here's a colorized version. The lowest areas in here are actually covered by vegetation a few feet high, so it's you can't really tell what it is a stream bed. Here's a view of the object file. I didn't even plan for 3D um, and didn't even set the program up for it. It's a little more work, but um, you can make decent maps with the Typhoon H. If this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe.
But in any case, please leave a comment down below. Thanks.